What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're we'll hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this amazing team sent in by one of you guys. Jacob, thank you so much for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. This team over here has a weakness policy to rally on Justified, Arcanine, and Life Orb Gardevoir. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. But this team right here will actually be the last team I am using before the Crown Tundra does release because the Crown Tundra will release on the 22nd which is exciting considering we get all new Pokemon and some crazy cool Pokemon but with that said I do need your guys help so if you want me to use one of your guys team for the Crown Tundra get on it send Crown Tundra teams over to my Instagram DMs I would love to get my hands on Dragonite teams Metagross teams Garchomp of course all new Pokemon teams if there's a team with it send it in there's a high chance of me playing it because I'm going to need tons of teams with the new Pokemon for more content when the Crown Tundra does release. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely hit me up in my Instagram DMs or in the comment section down below. But I would rather prefer the Instagram DMs. It just works easier for me and we can get things rolling. But rocking out on this team, we got Hydreigon with that focus sash. This thing does multiple things. It has Bulldoze, Trigger the Weakness Policy, Beat Up for Justified, and then it also has Dark Pulse and Dragon Meteor. Or Draco Meteor, not Dragon Meteor. Draco Meteor for a uh, stab move. We got the Tailwind Town Flame. You guys already know about, about that. We got the Justified Arcanine with that amazing move set of Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Wild Charge and Close Combat, also holding out a Silk Fest, so it can eat up some special attack and moves. We got Weakness Policy, the route on over here with Flash Cannon and Dragon Pulse, both for stab moves with Thunderbolt for coverage and Protect as a nice little support little move. Life Orb Gardevoir down the left, which I'm actually pretty excited for over here, considering it has Trace, we can Trace abilities, but it's just Gardevoir. Like, Gardevoir's awesome, it's such a good special attacker, with Moonblast and Psychic for stab, Thunderbolt for coverage, and Protect as that little Protect move. And then in the final spot, we got Storm Drain Gastron. Everybody loves this Pokemon, can come in clutch. We can make some awesome reads with that. Hopefully, we can do that in today's video. With that, Rindo Berry, Protect, Recover, Scald, and Earth Power. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's try to get some wins before the Crown Tundra does get released. First battle coming at you guys. This guy is a Trick Room slash little water team right here. So Storm Drain Gastron probably coming in here. Same thing with the Raladon. I feel like the Raladon can roll out here. It can dodge some. There is no follow me, but we can do a lot of work with just like Steel Spikes and all that good stuff up against that Nine Tails and that Hatterene, which I really, really like. And we have that Stab Dragon move for the Draco Fish as well. That works out awesome. Okay, um, do I really need Tailwind is the real question. I mean, they're kind of fast, but then at the same time, they're not. Considering it's like half Trick Room, half kind of speedy team. Um, hmm. Do I go Arcanine? Do I really bring Arcanine? I feel like I don't. I feel like I just go Hydreigon into Duraldon? Or do I go... Hmm. This is tough. This is tough news. Um, I feel like I could go Hydreigon into Duraldon. And then bring out Gardevoir and Storm Drain Gastron in the back. I feel like that works out just fine. Or I could bring Talonflame and just Taunt. I could totally Taunt. Taunt could work out amazing. Hmm. But then Hattery might go for Trick Room. I, th I think we're fine just going with this. I think we're fine chilling with this. I think, I think it's going to work well. But I'm trying to think of other Pokemon teams that I would love for when the Crown Tundra comes out. Because I said Metagross, Dragonite, and Garchomp. They're like the main three. Oh, and Salamence. Salamence is a good pick. Like, so, oh my god. They're like the four Pokemon I would love to get my hands on team. So, again, if you guys are interested in building teams for me for when the Crown Tundra release, let me know in my Instagram DMs. Or just send the teams over my Instagram DM right when the Crown Tundra releases. Because I would love to get recording as soon as possible with that. But we're going to go with, uh, ooh, do I take out a... Uh... I'm thinking I dropped the Ninetales here. Do I drop the Ninetales? I'm going to set up the snow. I could just drop the Ninetales easily. Dynamax. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Bulldoze. Into a... Uh, Steel Spike. And then get our defense boosted. Hmm. Oh, this is uh, G-Max. What's the depletion do? Is that just deplete the PP? Okay. Uh, I think we just go into Steel Spike to boost our defense. And we should be rolling from here. I think I'm cool with that. I think, I think that's a fine play, but will we trigger weakness policy? No. It's not super effective around. Okay, never mind. We're going to go here. We'll slow both of them down. We'll trigger our own weakness policy. Um, Ninetales should go down. 100%. See you later. And we get a defensive boost. I think he maybe Dynamax is the Lapras. Maybe, maybe not. He's definitely going to set up an Aurora Bell. And then, uh, what's it called? We'll go down this turn, but he will be able to get off his Bulldoze. The, uh, what's it called? The Hydreigon. This Hydreigon has that Focus Sash, but if the Hail stays, it's just going to get buffeted by it. And go down. Because I'm thinking Aurora Bell into something. Oh no, Blizzard straight off the rip. Okay. Never mind, we might go down here. Actually, Hydreigon should be able to outspeed, yeah. Hydreigon outspeeds everything. Nine Tails is gone. Get Nine Tails out of here. Get Nine Tails out of here. I'm gonna get that defense boost as well. Defense boost from the Steel Spike. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Get out my face, now the tails you're dead. And then we just gotta worry about this uh this lapras over here. This lapris. I ain't dealing with it. Hopefully the lapras is just maybe going for like a freeze dry or something along those lines. Over my hydrogon, then I could swap in, get my guard war, and we could be looking all spiffy over here. Then just have Storm Dragast on and maybe swap in. But later, we'll see what's going on here. Let's see. Unless you're rolling Blizzard. Nope. Ice Beam. Oh, you thought. You thought. You got a crit. Of course. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it that you would have got a crit? Of course you get a crit. Get a big old crit. Now you just throw out a speedy little Pokemon. E! Okay. We do have Protect. We do have Protect, which I can send over here. So who is it? It's going to be Urshifu. And I think I got to protect my Doral down here. Hmm. I think I gotta drop a Draco Meteor into you and just protect my Duraldon, the guard. Or I can slow him down. No, it won't do anything. Let me see uh, Duraldon's speed real quick. Let me see Duraldon's speed. Hmm. There's no way it's it's that fast. I think it's like 1 something? Yeah, 105, yeah. What's called? It's just gonna dump on it. First food. So I'm just gonna guard, try to get off an extra shot here. We're gonna guard, try to drop a Draco Meteor before both these Pokemon do go out here. So you are going to Dynamax. Are you Dynamax that Lapris? You're going to Dynamax the Lapris, and now he's sitting in a good position, man. Dang it. I didn't think that, uh, that, well, of course, the Ice Beam created. Oh, no, you're Dynamaxing this. Okay, I'm cool with that. This is, uh, when he's just going to hit through my max guard, bro. You smart cookie. You smart cookie. I'll give it to this guy. What a smart cookie. Yo, what a play. What a play, my dude. I'm going to protect here. Okay, that's that. What a smart play. Uses a uh, G Max move that just hit through me. What a smart play, dude! I give this dude mad props. Maybe I should have bulldozed. Oh, we got the special attack shop and Max Knuckle did come through. Okay, never mind. What a, not a smart cookie? I'll take that all day. What not a smart guy? Do I slow? Start slowing down that Urshifu? If he would have went for his Max move, he would have hit right through. But what a, what a dummy! What a dummy! <laughs> I thought he made the read. 145. If I start slowing down. All these guys, we should. My Gardevoir should be able to outspeed. If this thing's minus one. My Gardevoir should be able to come out here and do some work. So, um, maybe we'll try to get off a of Max Lightning. We'll see what happens. But Urshfruit definitely got to go after. Oh, we outspeed too. That's lovely. It's lovely. Get it. I just want the speed drop over on that Urshfruit more so. So my Gardevoir can come out here and maybe take it out. It should be able to take it out with just a Moon Blast. Let's see what happens here. Knuckle comes out and he's going to be able to pick up the Double Kill. That's totally fine by me. Right. So attack boost. He slowed down one. He slowed down. So that that, that should be big. That should be big. Because I'm hoping. I'm hoping my guard board should be able to outspeed it. I drop a moon blast, take that thing out, and then Storm Drain Gastron comes in here, but it's probably just gonna freeze dry, so I might just protect it at that point. And then roll from there. We'll see what happens. Definitely Hydrogon dead to an ice beam. Okay, you do not have freeze dry on you, so do I have to go into a protect? I seriously don't have to. I don't have to go into a protect. I might just go into an earth power over on the lapras. But we'll see what happens. We'll see. All right, Garbor, get out there. Get out there, Garbor. And then Gastron, chilling here. I could just recover this turn. That is that is a possibility. Or I could just double up into the Urshfu, which I might just do. I might just double up into Urshfu, but at the same time, I don't really want to do that. There's no way you're rocking Freeze Dry. We're going to Trace Water Absorb, which is amazing. <laughs> Even though you're not going to go for a water move with, th with this on the field. We're just going to Moon Blast. And do I just protect? Do I recover? I might play this one out. So we just drop an EP over here. Because this moon blast 100% takes out Urshifu. No problem. 100%. Four times super effective. Yes, we get the outspeed now. This thing's gone. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. Because I believe Urshifu's speed is definitely well over 145. But with that minus one definitely helped us out. So that bulldozer was such a nice call. Was such a lovely call. Earth power comes out. Uh, hey. And we get some damage off on this thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We do have T-Bolt as well. Oh, and we get the drop. We get the special defense drop. That's huge. Ice Beam coming out here. Um, okay. I'm cool with that. I wish I had, like, a follow me move. This thing is minus one. Minus one on special defense. What Pokemon is coming out for the final mod? Is this going to be close? This is going to be real close. I recover on my Gastron. My Gastron should be able to 1v1 this Lapras, so I shouldn't not too worried about it. Ooh, but a Draco fish. Um. Hmm. I don't think we outspeed the Draco fish. But I still say we double up into Draco fish. This is scary. We gotta get rid of this Draco fish. Outspeed it, Gardevoir. Mmm, crunch coming out here. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit, yo. This is gonna be too close now. This thing doesn't have freeze dry. 
And yo, he can't go for water moves. Doing some damage. Half that. Special defense drop? Nope. Ice beam coming out here. Okay. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Yeah, I don't think we won this one. Mmm. 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 Do I just recover here? How do I play this one out? Oh man. I don't know. We're gonna recover here. See if we, we can maybe slow this battle down. Maybe pick up the win. But dude. If you would have went to Fish's Red not knowing, that could have been amazing. <laughs> but Crunch could come out. I think Crunch just finishes us off. Nope. We do get off the recover, which is wonderful. We need somebody to miss. We definitely need somebody to miss. I 100% should have protected the Gardevoir, maybe. To get off an extra shot. That could have been actually maybe Clutch. But nah, this game's over. This game's over for sure. I'm just gonna run it. Keep my little slug poke my alive. But yo, that was actually a really good battle. Ended up losing, but still, I've... I'm glad we actually got to show off that battle. Considering it was that close and we got to show off uh, the Duraludon in this battle and the Gardevoir doing mad damage. 100% we're going up against a Trick Room team in battle number two. Look at this team. It has Runarigus, uh, Colossal. I don't know what that dog Pokemon's name is again. Is it, uh, it's Stoutland, I think. I think it's Stoutland. You never really see that on the rank ladder, so that's going to be pretty cool to see. Um, Gigalith, Gastrodon, and Rhyperior. Okay, how do I want to play this one? I really don't need my Gastrodon. I don't need that one at all. Do I go Talonflame? Do I just rock out Talonflame and maybe taunt and not let him get off that trick room? That could be huge. That could be huge, yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Gene's thinking. Maybe just go Talonflame to taunt. Then he got rock moves. He got all that stuff. He can just dump on me. Um, bum, 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 bum. I really don't know who to go. I'm still going to bring Talonflame just for the taunt. Um, I don't want to bring the route on. Hydreigon and... No, 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 no. Let me just go here and here. Keep that Hydreigon out of here. Even though I really want that Hydreigon, maybe we should have led the Hydreigon. Hydreigon just helps out so much, but I'm thinking of Dynamax and maybe uh, Gardevoir in this battle. But I kind of rushed that. If I would have thought a little bit more, I feel like I should have brought the Hydreigon and maybe triggered the Justified or the Weakness Policy. Something along those lines. Could help this out tremendously. Uh, is he going to go Gastron? Into Colossal, or are you gonna go Trick Room Squad? Oh, we gonna go. What, what's this over here? Stoutland into Gigalith. I'm a little confused. You're gonna get the Sandstorm on? Is that what you're gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do, buddy, old pal? Sandstorm is getting on. Uh, Stoutland. What do you do, Stoutland? That's my question. What is Stoutland going to do? I do have safety goggles on. And I am steel, so none of this will affect me. I don't. We do not need to rock out a Tailwind. So I'm just gonna drop a big old Brave Bird over into you. And then just drop a nice flash can. I'm not going to get Dynamax. I'm not going to force Dynamax right now. Oh, dude. This thing might be WP. That could be tough. That could be tough news for us. This thing's WP. Hmm. What you want, fool? You don't want it. You don't want it, dude. I'm not setting up a Tailwind. No need. I don't want maybe Stalin? Can Stalin roll Trick Room? I don't know what this thing could rock out. So I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared of what this thing is going to do. Might use some crazy moves to just dump on all of us at once. Maybe it's a new meta. Maybe it's a new meta rolling in. But yeah, I cannot wait. Ooh, you, there you go. Yeah, withdraw that thing. I'm sick of you. What are you pulling in? What are you pulling in? All right, Runa Regis. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Great bird comes out here. But I cannot wait for a new Pokemon for the Crown Tundra. Like, it's just going to change up the meta. It's going to be so much fun. There we go. Get half damage on that thing. That's wonderful. That's just dandy. You get impact coming in here. Hey, chill on me. Chill on me, Stalin. We're dead. We're dead. Kind of saw that. We're dead. But that thing's got to recharge, so I can actually waste a turn out here. And I can pick out a Pokemon I want. Get my Pokemon here. Flash Can. It's going to be poo poo damage. But still, we'll take it all day. Get the drop. And what did we just trigger? Jackpot? Oh, oh, no. Okay, this thing has a uh, Black Sludge or, or, or Leftovers. Okay. And we could bring out Archipoo. We could bring out Gardevoir. I don't want to bring out Gardevoir, but at the same time, I don't want to bring out Arcanine. Hmm. They bring out Arcanine here. Today we bring out Arcanine. Arcanine! Because I can drop a Max Knuckle. I could Dynamax this thing and drop a Max Old Knuckle. Who would do that? Who would do that? But at the same time, I kind of want this thing out the way. Until we double up into that. Drop a Dragon Pulse. Yeah, we're going to double up into you because this thing has to wait out a turn, right? Giga Impact uh, has to recharge. I think just Ally Switch. Okay. Kind of smart. Kind of not at the same time. Must recharge. That's fine. Hobos comes out. Yeah, hey. Get it. Get it. Take that thing out. All right, Soundland's gone. We're going to be able to drop a Dragon Pulse over on that left side. So, not bad. I'll take that play all day. And I'm going to just save my Dynamax for right now. 
I'm gonna save it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force it right now. Here's my dragon pulse. Bop. Doing a little bit of damage. But just teeing off on that thing little by little. No, we're all special attacking. Well, not all. Like, the Rowland's been special attacking, doing a little bit of damage. So hopefully this physical Flare Butch can definitely just dump on this thing, so I see later. But I probably will double up in the Rune and Rigus, just trying not to force the Dynamax. So, who else did he throw out that swap early on? It was Gigalith. Okay, so Gigalith might pop out again. Yeah, here comes Gigalith once again. Um, I think I double up into uh, Rune and Rigus here. Even though he is going to dump on me, I'm going to double up on the Rune and Rigus slot. And try to just take this thing out. And try to just get rid of this thing. If he ally switches, that's totally fine by me. Do damage on both sides. But I think he's going to Dynamax Gigalith and try to set up a trick him. I think that is his play. And for right now, we're kind of sitting well. I mean, I guess. Not bad. Not bad at all. But it could turn bad. If we go one for one here, I think we should be sitting fine. Because I think he's going to... Uh, if he doesn't take out my Arcanine, then we're sitting great. Because I can drop close combat. Before I go out and do a little bit of damage. What you got, fool? Make a move. There it is. So Dynamax Gigalith coming out. Okay, saw that all day. Yeah. Saw that all day, baby. Definitely got to be going for Trick Room into a Max Rock Bowl. That's that's a fair play. Arcanine's going to drop this turn, but Arcanine will be able to get off the of Flare Blitz, which is just dandy candy. Hopefully Arcanine outspeeds, takes out the Rune Regus first. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, Flare Blitz, take this thing out. Say, see you later, dude. Let me go home. Does not. Luckily, we did double up into it. And Wander Spirit. Okay, that's fine. You're going to get justified now. Get oh, good. We're going to swap abilities. That's totally fine by me. And then Flash Cannon comes out here. We say bottom and Rigus. This thing was definitely trying to drop a trick one. So, good thing we did double up into that. I wasn't going to. I was going to go one and one. But I had to make sure this thing's gone. And then Quake's going to come out here. Okay. I'm with it. Quake drops off here. He's going to get special defense boost. Oh, into my Arcanine. Okay, I thought you were going into my uh, Doraldon. But that's special defense boost. Ooh! E! That's good. That is so. That is. That's popping for him. That's definitely popping for him. And now we gotta bring out the Doraldon. Okay. Hmm. Wait, Dynamax or Doraldon? This is a real question. Did Doraldon take. If Doraldon didn't take any damage yet, I might just Dynamax him over guard. Depends who we throw that. Gonna be Gastron. Okay. Okay. We're gonna Trace. We're gonna get Sandstream. That's fine. <laughs> There's nothing. Um. Hmm. This thing might drop an earth power, and that's that's what's scary. Uh I think we're dead. I think the round on goes down. I could guard. Which I'm really thinking of doing. Which I'm really thinking of doing. It's just guarding. And maybe dropping a psychic to get that special defense drop. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Cause they gotta be doubling up into me or something like that. Those ground moves, like, come on. Got to see that coming all the way. Come on, I want this win. I want this win, man. <laughs> give me the win. Give me the win, yeah. Give me the win. I want the win. Got a max in hotel room again. <laughs> this guy's a big old hotel. Whose idea was this? Let's make him like a skyscraper. And everyone's like, yeah, Pokemon is a skyscraper. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Like comes out, give me the special defense drop, please. Give it to me, give it to me. No special defense drop, that's whack. Game's whack. He's just gonna drop a rock him. Okay, never mind. I thought you were gonna double up into my uh, my on. Get that speed drop, you buttery biscuit. Quake comes out, we get the block. I was looking for this all day. Okay, we're slowing down, but I still think we're faster than all of them. Uh, I'm gonna double up into you and then drop this. We're doing this, we're doubling up into you. Get him! Get after it! Quake definitely clutching up. Hmm. 2v2. This is his last turn. I wish I could guard again, but I don't want to risk it. I probably should have protected my Gardevoir. That probably would have been smart, but I want to try it for the special defense drop, even because he is plus one. But then we do get the plus one on the defense board, which is huge. This thing is physical attacking. Let's do this. Do some damage on him. Please don't be WP'd. Please don't be weakness policy. I can see it being weakness policy, which is terrifying. Please don't be. Please don't be. He's not. Okay, beautiful. Give me a special defense drop. Give it to me. Second time charm. No. What you mean? What you mean, Rock Tomb again? Oh, no. You yawning, dog. You yawning. You crazy. You crazy, dog. 
This thing's gonna go for the quake. We should be able to eat up, right? We should be able to eat this one up. Figure out weakness policy, let's see. Yeah, all right. Eat up, just dandy candy. Do we see this thing protecting? Do I go after the, the, the route? I'm gonna crit, dog. You get a crit, what you mean? You get a crit, okay. Hmm. All right, policy triggered. I feel like I have to take out the... Who do I go after? Who do I go after? I feel like I have to go after that, uh... That Giggle. But I feel like it might just protect. I'm definitely gonna drop a Moon Blast over onto you. I'm definitely going to Steel Spike here. I gotta get rid of this Giggle. This thing might just yawn. Let's see what happens here. Because I know Gardevoir goes to sleep. Yo, don't you tell me that this Gastron wins because it yawns. Because I'm thinking Giglith protects. I'm thinking we kill it through to protect here. It does not protect, but still, I want it gone. I want it out of here. So that works. Okay, so you're gone. And if this thing yawns on my Duraldon... Mm, mm, defense boosting. We boosting out here. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do, kind sir? Let's see what happens here. Moonblast comes out. I'm mean, gonna have special attack job. Give it to me. Aye. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on, we've been looking for drops all day. We haven't got one. Yawn comes out. Oh. Okay, Duraldon got one more turn. So it definitely protects here, which is uh, terrifying to be honest. Barber goes to sleep. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Am I gonna lose this one because of this Gastrodon? What do you mean? I mean, I'm gonna go for a protect in town. Uh. I can get this off. I'm hoping. Don't protect, please. Please don't protect. Please don't protect. You don't protect. We get big old damage here. Okay, Gardevoir goes first for the protect. He does not protect. Yo, take this thing out. Take this thing out. Give it to me. Give it to me. No. <laughs> thing just recovers. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, dude. Are you kidding me? Go. Mm, I think I'm just gonna keep psychicking on this thing. I get that special defense drop. Dragon Pulse. Yo, wake up. Somebody wake up here. Gardevoir, wake up, please. Gardevoir, you're up. The round on slumped. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, we're gonna lose. <laughs> the round on avoid it. Oh, I was gonna say, cardboard avoid it. Eat it, cardboard. Okay, cool, cardboard. Sandstorm subsides. Wake up, people. I need you up. Need you up right now. Need you up ASAP. ASAP. <laughs> the round on wakes up. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on. Big old damage. Get it down there. Cardboard wakes up. Yes, Psychic comes out here. We should be fine, unless Blizzard somehow KOs my, uh... What are you going for? Oh, we get the drop now. Thank you! Oh, my lord. Don't be going for Earth Power. What are you going for? Blizzard, hopefully? Yes, okay, Blizzard comes out. Dodge it again. Let's go. That's game. GG, we did it. We did it! Unless I miss my attack. You better not miss your attack. You better not miss your attack. Give me this W. Give me this W. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was gonna cry, man. <laughs> If we lost that to little Slugmon doing the double yawn, which was a good idea, but I feel like he used the wrong moves. He could have Earth Powered my Duraldon, took him out, and then rolled after the Guard for. But GG, we got one and one. We're going to hop to our third and final battle and try to get a winning record. Can Jeans get that winning record? That is what we are here to find out. This guy has a Clefairy, Drapion, Gasherdon, Duraldon, Scorch, and Urshfu Team. Little cool looking team right here. I always like Scorch, but it's not really used in ranked battles too, too much, so it's always cool when you see somebody using it. Um, I feel like Tailwind could just rock out for us right off the rip. I kind of want to oh, bring Hydra and just justify this one. Do I just justify this and roll from there? I feel like that could work out very, very well. I feel like that can work out very, very well. But at the same time, uh, you know, we're going to go here, here. Bring you and then Gardevoir. We're going to keep the route on out of the situation. He has no water besides Gastron, so I don't think he's bringing Gastron either. But I'm going to try to set up Tailwind, roll from there, maybe get my Arcanine in there, justify that, and then roll from there. But if we can't justify, then maybe we'll just Dynamax Gardevoir, or still maybe just Dynamax Arcanine, depending on the situation here. But, can I get that winning record? Hey, 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 
Hey, first battle was really close. Second battle, we ended up getting that dub. Really close, though, too. But third battle right here. Right now, Drake Brown's going to go for that cross poison. So, kind of scared of that. A little, little crazy there. Uh, do I set up Tailwind? Do I set up the Tailwind? Ooh, yeah. Kind of want to. Ooh, yeah. And then just drop a uh, the Bulldoze. Hmm. I just want to drop this Draco Meteor, to be honest. No, I cannot drop Draco Meteor. Cannot do that. I just want to maybe swap. No, I do not want to swap. Maybe don't even set up the Tailwind. Maybe just get after this Drake on here. I think it might just be going for follow me and just try and drop like poisons or something. Um. I said we. Yeah. I said we do this and start slowing them down instead of setting up the Tailwind so I can do damage. This video goes for follow me. Okay, follow me did not come out here. I could have shot the Draco Meteor and dumped on that thing. That's totally fine. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Give it to me. Give me the burn. I would love to get that. Nope. Does not come out. It's not going to affect Talonflame. We're just going to get the slowdown drop from here. And I think he's going to drop Cross Poison maybe into my Talonflame. But this will slow down. Nice little skitty to beat about a slowdown. Is it going to sink? I don't know. It's going to drop a nice little rock slide. That's cool. Talonflame gets absolutely dumped on. Don't you dare sing on me. What are you going to do, Clipperry? You got to be singing, right? You got to be singing, right? Moon Blast! Six fucking Moon Blast! Don't take me out. It dumps on me like crazy, dude. What you mean? This Kofari's jumping. Well, it is four times. I gotta give it that. But usually Kofari's don't use any attacking moves. Like, not one. So I was not expecting that in my defense. I was expecting maybe Talonflame go down and then we get out. My Arcanine. Okay. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna get after this the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way. Oh, we get Friend Guard now, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I said we just fly with the Drapion. Oh, but. Oh. But, uh, this is terrible because you can just go for a cross poison and dump on me. You can just go for a cross poison and say, see you later. Hmm. What terrain do I want? I'm gonna go for a Starfall. I guess I'll, I'm gonna try to double up into the uh, Drapion. Of course. But, dude, I think we're dead. I think it's a game. I think it's a quick round three for Jeans, dude. I think this might be a quick round three for Jeans. And you know what won in that game, if this is gonna be a quick round three? It's gonna be that Clefairy sending in that Moonblast. Like, last thing I expected, I was expecting Talonflame go down, that was fine by me. Then we get an Arcanine, we beat up, and we roll out from there. But, that Clefairy had Moonblast. But is Cross Poison coming out here? Helping in. Oh my god, I'm so dead. Can we outspeed this thing? It is minus one. It is minus one. Let me get after this thing. Player Blitz coming out here. Get this thing out of my face. Get it out of my face, Arcanine. I'm not dealing with it. Get it out of here. Good thing we doubled up in it. Go ahead, Gardevoir. Go ahead, Gardevoir. Go ahead, Gardevoir. Okay. We in this. We in this. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Wasn't dealing with that cross, please. Was not dealing with it. And it's 100% crit, I think. It's probably holding that scope lens. We all, we all know about that. But now we got the Mystic Terrain. Gonna help us out here. Um, the Fairy's chilling there. We have Friend Guard as well. So Arcanine's gonna be able to eat up. Hopefully he brings out, like, a special attacker. They got my Assault Vest. My Assault Vest, baby. Ooh wee. Assault Vest. Alright, here you going on. Scent Scorch. Ah, uh, this thing's physical, right? I think it's physical. I do have T-Bolt. I do have T-Bolt. <laughs> Which is actually nice. It's not super effective. Uh. Hmm. Do we have a Wild Charge? I feel like Scent Scorch. I feel like we just gotta start doubling up on the Scent And just start falling. Oh, it's not very effective. Let's go uh, change it up to the Max Mindstorm. This is still Stab, right? Yeah. Max Mindstorm is still Stab. We're Psychic and Fairy. I remember when this Pokemon was just... Oh, you buttery biscuit! Now he's gonna drop a moon blast. He's just uh, playing out his turns. Smart, smart play. But I remember when Gardevoir was just a uh, was just a psychic type back in Gen 3 when it first came out. But doing some damage there, and this guy actually is looking very, very well. Hmm. Got that terrain. I'll be able to take out Sense Scorch here, no problem. I don't want to double up in there. What are you going for? A life dude. Ooh. He's gonna do up. He's gonna wop up a loop up up. Alright. Do it up. Do it up, baby. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Alright, send Scorch back up full. Uh, another Max Mindstorm. He might die to Max. 
Hmm. I'm definitely gonna fire blitz into Clefairy, start dealing some damage over there, and just uh, max Mindstorm into Sense Scorch. But the problem is gonna be his final Pokemon when he Dynamaxes. Unless he's gonna Dynamax the Sense Scorch, I'd rather him Dynamax the Sense Scorch so we can get some shots off on it. Because if he doesn't Dynamax the Sense Scorch, we probably, chances are we take it out very, very soon, and then he Dynamaxes with the Clefairy by its side while we, we have two non Dynamax Pokemon. But again, it really depends who that final Pokemon is. Because if it's at Urshifu, right? He has Urshifu, right? I can just send him Moonblast that way. Say, yo, thank you, for, thank you so much for coming. But okay, he Dynamaxes the Clefairy, not the Clefairy. The, I hope it's Clefairy. <laughs> the Sun Scorch coming out here. Can it be G Max? Because I love the way it looks. It's like a zigzag. Yeah, 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 there's my boy. G Max sent his Scorch. Do your little zag thing. I think he only does it when he's uh, using the move. He, like, he like, turns himself into like railroad tracks. But follow me comes out. Okay. That's fine by me. I was coming after you anyway, but just archive, but still. So he hasn't even followed me all day. Now it decides you. Get it out of my face. We still got Friend Guard rocking out for us. Can this Mindstorm take this out? This could actually be big for us if Mindstorm does take out. Mindstorm, take this thing out. Tell it to go home. Tell it to get off of us. But get it out of here. Get it out of here, dog. Alright, you're dead. Synth Scorch, what are you doing, kind sir? You gotta be going for a G Max Synth Inferno, right? G Max Flutter Moon. Alright, we eat. But special attack drop does come through. Oof. Oof. Special attack drop coming through. It's scary. It's real scary. It'll be really close. I go for a psychic on whoever comes out. It is Urshifu. Is he gonna protect? Oh my god. Or is he gonna outspeed me? Hmm. hmm. Good job, close combat. Oh my lord, this is so tough. Hmm. This is really tough. Um. I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. I say I double up into the Urshifu. This thing might be Sash. Do we think it's Sash? I gotta outspeed it. That's the real thing. I think there's a high chance of this thing being Sash. So... I'm going to just send a Moonblast into it, but I don't think we outspeed it, which is a problem. He detect. <laughs> GG! <laughs> GG! Nice play, man. Oh, Extreme Speed wouldn't have worked anyway, but still. He protected anyway. Alright, uh, Flutterby comes in, or G-Max sent the front out. That's gonna take out Gardevoir. That's Night Night. That's Night Night. GG, my dude. GG, nice detect for the protect. Um, I seriously th still think he's Sash, but even if he wasn't, it's still game. Probably still would have been game if we would have took it out anyway, regardless. Because I don't think my Arcanine can just 1v1 this uh, this uh, thing right here. I'm still going to try to drop a close combat on you. See if we can, see if we can pull through. Maybe, somehow, Jeans can do it. <laughs> but either way, we got to show off the scene pretty, pretty well. We got one win with it. Um, Close combat. Oh, we would have outsmed that thing. Is this thing Sash? We wouldn't even took it out. Close combat. But that's not Stab. It's not Stab! But, best easy arc. You're going down here, big dog. Wicked Blow coming in here. There it is. Oh, this move's sick, though. Bob. Later, skater. He gets a crit. Oh, it's guaranteed crit. My fault. <laughs> I was gonna say, what do you mean? Getting crits. But, yeah, that one's guaranteed crit. GG to this guy. We got one and two. Not bad. We got to show off this team and have fun while we're doing it. One last shout-out to my boy Jacob for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. We went one and two with it. Not bad. I really did enjoy this team and all that it had to offer with the Hydreigon, Duraludon, and Guard War. Such a cool team, and I loved it. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. And don't forget, if you guys want to drop me Crown Tundra teams, leave them in my Instagram DMs, jeans underscore YouTube. Link is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you.